Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here with another public sexual announcement for you for August the 25th, 2022. And I hope you all are having a great day out there. So to begin, I, I just want to say thank you to everyone out there who listened to the most recent podcast on Why Men Cheat. You seem to really like that one a lot and I do appreciate it. So please take a moment and subscribe and hit that like button just so you can follow along. But don't smash the like button though. Just caress it like a clitoris and you'll be good to go. So on that note, we're talking about the clitoris today. Let's talk about female orgasms and research out there, which pretty much explains how women have three different types of orgasms. Unfortunately, there is a catch which makes this research somewhat interesting. So let's talk about that today. So as I read the title of this research, I'm thinking, what are you talking about? There's way more than three different types. There's a clitoral orgasm, there's a vaginal orgasm, there's even a blended orgasm, there's a G-spot orgasm, and some women can even have orgasms just just through nipple stimulation by itself. So then I read the article and I was like, oh, these researchers came at it from a different perspective where they looked at vaginal contractions and they actually used a sex toy to get the data for their research and their measurements, which made it very nice. So let's get into how they did the study and what the study found. This study was published in the Journal of Sex Medicine. And they used 54 women in this study where they were interested in trying to categorize the various different types of female orgasm. So what made this study nice was that they used a Bluetooth vibrator to gather their data called the Linus. And once the device or vibrator was put inside their vagina, it actually measured the force of her pelvic floor contractions during an orgasm. And it also measured other things like vaginal temperature, and it took some gyroscopic measurements too. So I I don't know what that's about, but that's interesting. So the women were instructed to to masturbate to orgasm, and then they were told to leave it in for two minutes post-orgasm, just so that the vibrator could measure all of the quote unquote afterglow vaginal contractions. So these researchers discovered three main types of orgasms, the avalanche, the wave, and the volcano. So let's break them down really quickly. 11 women in this study had a volcano type orgasm where they described it as the pelvic floor staying at a lower rate of tension before increasing during orgasm. So I guess it seems like it's fairly mellow all of a sudden and then boom, you have your big orgasm, like a volcano blowing its top. These researchers said 17 women experienced an avalanche type orgasm, which they described as the pelvic floor having higher tension and it's all released at once during an orgasm. So if you think about all this snow sitting up there on the side of a mountain and it's ready to go, and then when it finally goes, boom, and all that energy is released at one time. And those orgasms are pretty large. And finally, 26 women in this study were said to have experienced a wave type orgasm. And the researchers described that as successive contractions, one after the other, of tension and release at orgasm. So if you think about waves at the beach, they're very rhythmic, they're up and down, tension release, tension release, pretty much in time. So this seemed to be the most common type of of orgasm experienced in this study. But here's the thing though, these women were found to only be able to have one type of orgasm. This study said one key finding was that each woman consistently only experienced one of the three types with very little crossover. Someone who has one type of orgasm isn't likely to be able to experience either of the other types, 
although it hasn't been established whether or not this is impossible or just less common. So in closing out this PSA, I just want to say that I really do like this study and how it was done and how it was able to find three new different types of female orgasm. And what I really like about it is that it was based on pelvic floor muscle contractions during an orgasm in contrast to the area of stimulation that we typically help to define or use to define female orgasm, such as the old fashioned clitoral orgasm, the G-spot orgasm, and the vaginal orgasm. So my next question is, I really wonder how technology will have an impact on sexology in the future. Because using a Bluetooth vibrator that, have, that has all of these measurement options on it is really nice and it's probably very accurate as well. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Now I wonder what, what type of, so I wonder what type of orgasm she's having. So I'm wondering what type of orgasm is she currently having right now?